What's going on behind all of this? Behind these lights, these cam switches? Well, in this video, on this industrial control panel, I'm gonna explain the wiring of all of that. You know, all the wiring of these status lights, these cam switches, and how they feed back to the main industrial control panel. Okay guys, so the couple of three position cam switches up here have, all, have already been wired. And you can see I'm just starting to do the three position ones down here on this side. And it's pretty simple. It's just, yeah, feed coming in, looping in, out, in, out to one side of the contacts. So that's the first bit that you'll see me doing. Also, you'll notice these two position contacts or switches or cam switches, one, two, they originally only had one contact on them. So because it's for pump one or pump two, we need to have a second contact on there. So just adding those on here in the video or have done. And then it's a similar thing with these contacts. You're just bringing a feed in, looping in, looping out into the next one and then over here and then from here on out it's just lots of long cables going into the other side of the contacts on the three position switches and the two position switches so yeah not really much to see um so i'll just talk you through what that looks like so this is it when it's all done and what you've got is you've got a cable coming in 24 volts coming in on let's just say well let's talk about the 200 circuit on these ones here so 200 circuit which is 24 volts coming in coming into this side of the contact looping out to this side of the contact out and then over here this side of the contact looping out into this side of the contact these are normally open contacts so no normally open so when we haven't switched them they're open normally open and they're green as well that usually from what i've seen all green contacts are normally open all red ones are normally closed so you can get normally closed ones if you need them depending on how you're doing your controls but these are all normally open so what will happen is we've got voltage here we've got voltage here and the system's just looking now for someone to switch that to hand or auto at the moment in the middle where nothing's engaged none of these contacts are enabled in the middle it's off so we switch it to hand, then we've got the power, this closes, and then we've got the voltage or power running through here to this cable, and this cable then runs back to the panel. And I think in our designs, in our system, it's energizing a relay. For the vast majority, 99% of these, it's then energizing a relay. And then we're doing other things off the back of that relay. So we're in hand, we then move it, say then we want to put it into auto. So we move it back through off so that's now open again it's in the off position and then we close it on auto and that then engages closes this contact and it's exactly the same thing then that cable so it passes through here voltage power whatever you want to call it into this cable and then this cable goes back to the enclosure and then it en and energizes a relay so simple stuff guys now let's move over to the two position contact and it's exactly the same principles we've got our feed coming up here it's a different circuit on on the two position switch and it's linking into the first contact and then out to the second contact and this is only ever in our system pump one or pump two so i think you've got this side enabled at the moment being that we can just about see that green contact we can't see it over here so at the moment it'll be like voltage will be coming up here nothing's happening here because this is open normally open it's not switched on this side um so nothing's getting passed here but on this side where it is switched that's closed now and it's passing the power voltage back down 127 and then cable goes back to the panel and energizes a relay we switch that to pump two then this opens up so no voltage and the same principle happens on this other contact and then that cable sends power to another relay and we do other things on that relay so that's pretty much it guys for the door as you can see there's a lot of cable being used here so do not underestimate the amount of cable needed if you're wiring stuff to the door so i think i got through two rolls of 100 and a little bit more so yeah that gives you some idea of how much cable you need to factor in for this size panel or amount of 
things happening on the door, you need to factor in that sort of amount of cable. So make sure you're stocked up if you're doing anything door related. Thank you.